Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, today we are going to be doing a screwball ice cream. And if you're American, you probably won't know what that is, but it's a uh, bubble gum ice cream. It's like uh, ice cream. We used to have it like in this plastic like cone, you know, like cone shape. And then at the bottom was two like bubble gum, bubble gum balls. And then you had this like raspberry ripple ice cream on top of it. Um, someone had mentioned it on the channel not so long ago. And I thought, what a great idea. So I didn't have the right bubble gum, but I've ordered something else and um, made something up. It tastes very much like it. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's put one together. I'm just gonna do 15 mil of it. I done 30 mil of it last night and videotaped it. And videotaped it, we don't tape things anymore, do we? We I recorded it, um, but I have some technical difficulties. So, uh, so that, that uh, that video went in the garbage so now we're going to be doing another one and i'm just going to make 15 mil oh my god the rats are fighting they really do get into it when they go they're only kind of playing but it does look a little vicious and they start squealing all right um let's get a recipe there we go so i've got it up already Oh, come on, guys, leave it out. Jeez. As soon as I come on video. I can't do it any other time. You've got to do it right now. All right, let's see. That just shows right there. All right, I'm going to put this recipe up right next to me. Um, also, in the um, description below, there'll be a link to eliquidrecipes.com. I will have the recipe in there as well. So... Let's not have anybody type and say, I don't know where the recipe is. It's right next to me here, and it's in the link down below, and it will be in our archives folder, which is a link down below. Um, there's so many places you can get to it. It's just not typed out. I can't type it out on every single piece. It's just, <laughs> it, it's just too much to do. So, uh, yeah, it will be on eliquidrecipes.com along with all my other... Um, uh, recipes from now on I think I've only got one in there so far because I've just started doing it but um that's where I'll be keeping them oh I took a screenshot of this and it was in weight and not percentages I ain't no good is it there we go okay well let's go ahead and pick our uh, flavorings eh? uh the first one we got is jawbreaker by flavor west I believe that is yep the next one we got is vanilla bean ice cream by the flavor apprentice Nice big bottle of that stuff. Um, well, it's not a big bottle. It's a 30 mil bottle. It's, most of my other stuff's in like 10s and 15s. Um, I, the reason I use TFAs for there being ice cream um, and not Capella's, which Capella's is my favorite. Actually, I have a Flavor West and I've not even tried it yet. Um, the other two are that good. But um, the reason why that one is I find that one not as heavy. Um, is what the other one is. I didn't want this. I, you know, nice creamy ice cream is great, but I, the bubble gum is what I really want to come through. Um, it tastes just like the screwball bubble gum, and that's what I wanted there to be. And it's got some raspberry in it, and obviously a nice ice cream flavour. But I didn't want it real, real thick and heavy ice cream. It was not kind of that recipe that I wanted. Although this one does do a nice creamy ice cream, I just don't think it's quite as dense as what the other one is. In, that's my opinion other people might see it a little different but the way i when i taste the two different ones this one's kind of got a more of a stronger flavor whereas the other one's a lot more creamy and uh dairy milk by tfa uh raspberry sweet by tfa uh blue raspberry cotton candy by capella that's a new wash one for me uh this one I don't find left a lot of sweetness in it, so um, I would have thought it would have had a lot of um, ethyl mortal in it, being a cotton candy, but um, didn't put a lot of sweetener in it, so um, I've actually added some sweetener. Um, right, we've also got sweet cream by TFA, and some sweetener, because when I tried the last one, it wasn't sweet enough, so um, I'm guessing the cotton candy didn't do what I thought it would do. Okay, well, one thing I've noticed, I don't have my little camera on so give me a break um, I'll be right back and I'll start all the cameras rolling again because there's always some technical difficulty I've got to have somewhere 
So um, give me one second. Hi right, folks, we're back. We've got both cameras going now. And because I thought it'd be nice to get back to show some close up of the scales. It takes a little bit more editing in my end, but uh, I think it's kind of uh, nice to see this whole section of it and then this little close up piece. So um, I won't do the close up for every single drop that I pull in, but we'll do a, we'll do a few. Well, let's go ahead and turn this on. When it's uh, whatever's in there, it zeroes out. So I've already got the bottle in there. It, always, it just comes up as zero. There's no need to tear anything. And we have got 0.39 of Jewel Breaker, which I think is uh, it's 2.5%. I was going to say 3. But, all right, 0.39. There we go. I actually almost managed to keep quiet during that. God, now I've got gerbils going crazy. We've got a menagerie here. Just got three more gerbils because uh, one of the uh, hamsters died. I don't know why I'm talking about this. This is not a pet channel, is it? But uh, one of the hamsters died, so I put the leftover hamster, the leftover one, the, the garbage one, the one that was no good, into its own little cage um, to spend the rest of its days out because um, it's definitely getting a, a, a little older. And then bought three uh, gerbils to put in the bigger... Uh, section we got which is pretty big it's got like moldy levels to it uh vanilla bean ice cream 0.23 this one has gone through this is the third version of this um so yeah some of the flavorings you might think does it need a bit more of that or does it need a bit less of that i've given this a good trial and um, i found this to be exactly where i wanted it it's quite um, quite authentic all right, it's just 0 0.8 of this this cream as well. The dairy milk is, um, oh God, we went over there, didn't we? Oh, we did. It's not too bad. Yeah. Um, the dairy milks I find quite heavy. So um, that one kind of makes it, I wanted that taste as well. I know it's got some weight to it. Uh, raspberry sweet or sweet raspberry. I always call it raspberry sweet. And that is... 0.47 so we've got quite a bit of that one because uh, I had to be careful I think that's why I backed off some of the ice cream and some of the creams and even the jewel break I backed down a little bit because the raspberry wasn't coming through and I didn't want to up the raspberry and then get you know a chance of a chemical taste or just over flavoring it um, the raspberry sweet is just so good on its own that I, I wanted to make sure that it was a very good um very good percentage which is three percent which is a nice area to be in i'm fine using it up to about six but uh that was where it uh that's where it came out for the final one all right 0.16 of raspberry cotton candy there we go no that's it go on scales just do what you want to do put that back put jewel breaker back and sweet cream is our last flavoring We've got sweetener to go in but this is the actual last flavor and um, i do have sweet cream by flavor west which is probably my favorite sweet cream but i wanted to give this one a go as well which is also excellent um never really used it much before because i'd already always used the flavor west one because it's uh, one of the main ingredients in my all-day vape but i think this one is um may uh, also become one of my favorites hmm it's good all right now we need some sweetener i've got a pipette here that i used uh, last night for sweetener that's all to add in it is sweetener I'm not worried about using it again. I'll throw it out. This sweetener I've had since day one. I think I bought it with my first ever order, or maybe the second one. As you can see, I don't use much sweetener. I've got tons of it. Okay, now we want some VG. 
uh, I always use Max VG. You know, as soon as I've put all my flavors in, it gets topped up with VG. Don't ever use PG. I just, um, I'm not a big fan of it. But uh, PG is a very good um, flavor carrier. So VG, which I'm using, can actually mute the flavors a little bit. Well, not can, it does. Um, not by a great deal, um, but especially uh, when it's a little colder as well, I find when it's a little denser, it uh, can be a pain in the ass to vape, um, trying to get it to wick. Um, and it's been pretty cold lately, but I use a uh, beast tank and uh, once I've hit it a couple of times, that inside heats up pretty good. And then uh, that juice flows. But uh, yeah, if you're used to um, having PG and you like PG in your mixes, carry on and use it. Um, you know, don't you don't have to follow this. It, it doesn't, the PG VG does not change what we're doing here. You might get it a, a tad little sh bit stronger, maybe um, more vivid with the with the flavorings, just because you're using something that carries flavor better. But um, yeah, apart from that, I don't. I just don't like PG. I don't like the taste of it. I can taste it in there. It's yeah, horrible. All right. Well, there we have it. Guess I could make this our one of our five minute sessions, but uh, there was something else I was going to do, and I don't remember what it was now. Oh, that's it. I'm going to throw in a little uh, little something something here. Yeah. I've got one that I've kind of not really working on. It's a spin off of the Menel Berry, and it's called Insane Berry. <laughs> so you can just imagine where I'm trying to go with that, right? Um, it didn't come out very insane, so I'm making a second version of it. And I thought, well, I'll just do it on the back end of this one. I, I wouldn't advise copying it, um, not at this stage, because it's not um, something that's ready, but I just thought I'd do it in front of the camera, because this is all I wanted to do tonight was the jewel breaker. I have, um, I have a five minute show coming up tomorrow night, which will be um, a tobacco flavor. It'll just be one of our five minute mixes. Um, really good tobacco flavor. Even those of you that haven't had a tobacco for a while, you know, and you're on your fruits and you're on your creams and everything else, um, this one is something you can vape. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, and if you're a tobacco fan, you'll love it as well. It's, it's great. I don't vape tobaccos anymore, but about the last six months, I've not bothered with them. I sat down on Sunday and vaped uh, probably a good five to eight mil, because it was 15 mil in there and half of it was gone. I was dripping it. Um, really, really nice tobacco. Do you know what? Let's put a... Uh, Put a label on here while we're talking. This was Screwball 3. Well, it's the Screwball final. I'm just going to call it Screwball. Make sure. Yep, Screwball. Actually, it's already typed in here because I've done a video last night and it's left in here. Um, I didn't put any nicotine in it, did I? I'm gonna, hang on, I need to do that. 3MG. I knew that was a little quick because this is a finished article it'll probably go to work with me sometime towards the end of this week or actually no it'll be next week because it's got creams in it it's got um, ice cream in it um, you want to let it steep about a week there's me thinking it didn't have anything in there because it's bubble gum but it has and it needs to steep it's ice cream also, um, I've been on my all-day vape all day today. It's the first time I've been on it for a couple of weeks. It's the longest I've been without it. And um, I did try some about, I don't know, a week to 10 days ago. And it had been steeping for about two weeks. And I tried it and I was like, wow, it's a little bit strong. It's a little bit strong tasting. Um, tried it again last night and it's absolute perfection. So it does need three weeks. If you try my all-day vape, um, don't judge it after a week or two weeks. Give it three good weeks. So even four would be excellent. Once it's had that, um, I can't explain it. It is just so damn good. Um, I vaped. Uh, I vaped the whole 15 mil of it today, and I had to. I got this tiny little drop in the bottom. Um, 
and the second half of the day I actually paced myself because I was worried I was going to run out. So um, tomorrow I'll probably take 30 mil with me um, just to make sure that I don't run out. I'll take two unicorn droppers. Um, it's that good. I've been just going crazy on it. Let's get some nicotine in this bad boy. All right, this is 15 mil, so that would be about, normally about 14 drops. I'll put 15 in. There we go. I won't froth it, I'll just give it a shake. It's gonna sit and steep for a little bit, it'll get mixed up. Just don't wanna stick the frother and, and get it a second time. And get that chance of nicotine going up the side of it. And... All right. Okay, insane berry. Here it is here, this was my tester. I tested it last night, I put it on the dripper, I think it was on this one. I'm gonna take some fruity pebbles in that. Oh, and the fruity pebbles flavor. If you don't do anything else this year, or this month, should I say, um, just make a batch. Um, get it, make a batch. Even if you're not really that into cereal vapes, it doesn't remind me of a cereal vape. What am I doing here? Um, it's just really, really good. And uh, David Leone sent me the uh, the mix, which he'd got from somewhere else as well. And um, I kind of took that really, I liked it, but there was just a strong lemon flavor in there, which I didn't go so, which I wasn't so fond of. So I took that flavoring down a little bit and substituted it with another one. And um, so it's it's just, it's, it's mind-blowingly good. I love it. It's r really, really good. Mind-blowingly. Maybe not that much. Um, but it's good. It's good. Good. Um, what are we looking for? Insane Berry. That's probably going to be inversions. If I... There it is. Insane Berry 2. Let's see what I've done. Okay, I added some harvest berry. We've got some menthol in. Let me see what the original was because the menthol doesn't taste that strong in the original. Menthol, grimmed in menthol, okay. All right, so we'll add a bit more menthol. Let's take it up to 1.5. All right, now we're ready. We're gonna make um we're gonna make just ten mil of it, I think. Or should I make no I'll make fifteen. Okay, so here's insane berry. It's right here. I'm not putting this one up on the LR. So um if you want it, it's right here. The stuff that goes up on the LR is gonna be finished good mixes. When I'm just playing around like this doing a version, um you either have it from here or you don't have it. It's, it's just as simple as that, I'm sorry. But this is me playing around and I'm just doing my normal mixing in front of you. So, um, well, I said I was going to do 15 mil, didn't I? Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the ingredients up. We want Hard Candy by um, Flavor West. Let's get that one out of the way. Um, Lychee, I think that's how it's pronounced, um, or Lychee, Lychee, I think it's Lychee, um, at 0.25%, so just quarter of a percent. The reason it's so little, I kind of like the little bit of sweetness it gives, and I'm not putting any sweetener in this, but it gives something to it, but 0.5, I can still taste that it's in there. I don't want it to be where I can taste what it is, just want it to give, it's a very, very strong sweet, it's a, it's, sweeter sweeter than my sweeteners it's um 
yeah, it's strange. And when it's in there, it's got that distinct sweet taste, and I know it's, I know it's there. All right, green apple by F uh, Flavora. You may not have any all of these anyway, so just uh, it's just here as a bit of a bonus. Um, Sour Wizard by, I've got that by Flavor West. I'm sorry, that's not Flavor West. Sour Wizard is by somebody else. I think it's by F.A. Yeah, it is. It's by F.A. I need to change that. Because then I, otherwise you'll get you'll be looking for Sour Wizard by F.A. And it's not going to be there. I, um, Sour Wizard, Sour Wizard, where are you? Come on. There. Flavor art. Okay. Close. Equipment's already in my recipe, right? That's good. Okay. Is it reading by FA now? No, it's still reading. The Sour Wizard is by. Um, it's not by Flavor West, it's by Flavor Art. I, I've, I've changed it in there, but it's actually, if I delete it, maybe if I delete it out of here and then add it, that would probably do it. Let's delete it and then add it. Add Sour Wizard, there we go, 1.5, nope, 1%, 1 there. There we go. Just don't want to give you the wrong, uh, the wrong stuff here. There you go. I've put it up here again, just just so you know it's the right one. All right. Uh, let's turn the scales on, or shall we? No, because we don't have everything ready. Uh, key lime natural. It just says key lime on it. Uh, flavor West, but they don't do a key lime flavor West. It's key lime natural, and that's what I ordered. Just doesn't say it on there. Um, Creme de menthe by the Flavor Apprentice. There it is. I've got some by Flavor West and the Flavor Apprentice. I'm just using it as a little bit of a different spin on the menthol. Um, pineapple by Flavor <laughs> Flavora. Uh, this thing is mental. This is uh, TNT. Um, it's unbelievably strong. Harvest Berry, um, which is one of the best fruit flavors out there. And he's right there. That's by Capella. And then we got Sour Wizard by Flavor Art. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all the cameras and we'll come back, we'll mix this, um, shoot the shit a little bit and we'll, um, we'll get out of here. Anyway, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back, we are ready to mix. So uh, let's jump right into it. Again, we're doing 15 mil. As you can see, I've got a used bottle on here. It's got part of the old label still on it. I do uh, recycle them all sometimes twice before I uh, get rid of them. I could probably do a little bit more than that as well. All right, this is just half a percent, 0 0.08. This hard candy is extremely strong. I have vaped it at 3% and got on with it just fine. But um, when you've got it in a mix like this, if you put it in any more than like half a percent, all you're gonna get is hard candy. Even with just the amount we got in there in the other one, um, I could taste it same as I could with this lychee. With this stuff, it should be just a couple of drops, 0 0.04. There we go. That goes in there, yep. All right, then we got green apple by Flavora. Love this stuff. Oh, another thing as well, we've got to do, um, well, I was lucky, I was talking and we did, yeah, that's good. I um, got to do our Swamp Thing clone, you know, the clone series, got to do part three of that. And yeah, so we've got a lot, still got a lot going on. I've got other clones in the making, as you know. Um, got that, um, oh, we've got menthol next. Did I not pick up the menthol? I didn't. 
or did I? Is that no? Nope. Got menthol by Flavor West. Come on, where are you? Sour menthol. Oh, I like to do them in order so I know that I've done them. <clears throat> yeah, I've got the uh, Moo Liquids Neapolitan clone. Um, which the trouble is, I've got to, I've got to wait on it. I know um, a lot of people want it. Um, I've got to wait. It's got to be right. And um, also the blue bear that we done again. I rushed that one. You know, everyone was saying, "Well, when's it coming out? When's it coming out?" It was like a, a big thing. Um, and I thought I had it. I put it out. It was fantastic. Um, it's not fantastic after about a week or so. It, the flavors just drop right off, and it's very muted. Um, I got very frustrated vaping it there the other day because I couldn't get anything out of it. I was like, you know, I ended up going to something else. So <clears throat> I have tweaked that one and I've put it back in the archive folder um, and it's tweaked that one and um, Blue Polar Bear. So I've added some stuff to it and upped a couple of little things and uh, I'm hoping now that it will be good. Um, key line point two three. But this thing here, what I'm putting together, is insane berry, and it's sour and menthol. The sourness doesn't really come out of it. I don't know if those things really mix, but um, it was insane berry. Um, let's try something completely new. And I did try it, and it was a bit like the blueberry. The flavors weren't, they weren't up there. They just weren't coming together. So um, I've altered it a little bit. This is creme de menthol. I quite like this um, with the menthol. It gives it a whole different spin. <clears throat> Pineapple by Flavora. The strongest flavor I've ever tasted. That dog better not come over here flapping his ears. You son of a bitch. Joey, go lay down, please. Go lay down. Thank you. dickhead as soon as i said it i knew that's what he was going to do he does it he never flaps his ears except when he's just laid when he's laid down and he gets up he gets up he walks on the floor and then the first thing he does is flap his ears so it's bizarre he's got to do it when i'm on camera all right harvest berry this is what this thing was lacking. It's lacking a good mixed berry blend. It's, it had a lot of other qualities to it, but it just was missing, it was lacking. So I added the pineapple, a very strong pineapple, and, um, and this harvest berry to it. <clears throat> Again, this mix is not tried and tested, so mix at your, um, mix at your discretion. <laughs> um, Mix at your own risk. Or you might just want to wait for me to come back in probably the end of the week or beginning of next week as soon as I, or whenever I find it again, I'll put it in the steep and just forget I've got it, just like everything else. But um, I will definitely come back to it and we will check on it. And should I put, no, I'm not going to put any, uh, no, I won't put any, nicotine in it <clears throat> although no i was confident enough to make 15 mil of it let's be confident enough to put nicotine in it okay so i'll take that 0.52 off of there so we got 16 3 Okay. Let's get our frothed up. There was a big discussion on the live um, 
on our live show about throffing versus shaking versus using a um, magnetic shaker and doing you know all of this stuff um, do what you feel is it works for you this works for me just great and as far as I'm concerned e-juice needs oxygen to um, to steep to mature um, a lot of people are in that same camp um, and believe the same thing and then there's others that say it can mute the flavors and stuff like that and i'm sure it can with some of them um maybe that's what's happened to some of mine you know maybe i should try it without the throffer on a couple of them and see if that's what happened um because i'm not that much of an ignorant person i'm really not um i will try stuff and then come back and let you know my findings but for me putting air into this um, once i put the cap on like so and i put this on and it's airtight it's still got the same amount of air in it as what a normal mix would same air to liquid ratio it's just that some of the air is mixed in with the juices i can't put no more mass in there so i try and explain sometimes but anyway that's that's how i like to do it um you may just want to sit there and shake it by hand or or you know shake give it a quick shake and pull it away to the steep pick it up a couple of days later shake it again um, how, however you feel you want to do it someone is talking about getting a magnetic shaker by all means go go ahead and do it do it you know whatever way works for you it's the shaking at the end of the day for me is the last thing we need to worry about the flavoring and getting everything balanced and getting a mix that we want is the first one i don't think it's worth arguing about everything else um, but this um this throffer for me saves um saves a day or two of steeping and that's definitely uh, a proven fact what, what I've proved anyway because um, some of the mixes I've made have been just fine a couple of days earlier and I find with these shaken vapes as well um, you know like this one here I can go ahead and, and hit this one straight away and I've got all those flavors in there of course they're going to be better after a few days but uh, you know what let's turn this one off we don't need that anymore this has got some other flavors in it. it's got the old um, insane berry on it and I could taste a bit of fruity pebbles on there just a minute ago, but it gave me a general idea of what this is like. But I know that that's all mixed, all the flavors are blended. It's got a really good throth in. Mm, that's a mental berry. Not sure about the creme de menthe now. I don't think it needs to be in there. I think I need to leave that with creams. I like a like a peppermint cream or something like that. We'll leave it a few days and see how I feel about it then. Because I quite I quite liked it in the other one. Just wanted to try something different. It's a nice vape. It definitely is. I don't think it's got that wow factor yet, but we'll um we'll definitely try another one. I'll, I'll keep on going with this one until I hit what I want on it. I think the creme de menthe might come out of it next time, depending on what it's like after a few days. So this one is insane berry. this printing get my old day vape also I brought the cloud beast out for it as well it's been sat there for a week or two now not being used um, so I put a parallel 24 gauge build in there um, and it's like 0.15 ohms I think yeah 0.15 vaping it at 80 watts and it's going like a champ. I've really enjoyed vaping today. Enjoyed it too much. I almost vape myself dry. Vape my juice dry. And I've not even got any fresco. I've got diet mist twist today. Which happens to be one of my other favorites. Do you know what? That should be cloned as well. 
something tastes familiar in it, no? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to clone my drink, so I'd get bored of them. Uh, okay, so that one there is done. Tomorrow night, tune in, and I'm going to do a vibrating thing. I'm, I'm going to do a tobacco, and it will be one of our five-minute mixes. So um, join us tomorrow if you... If you love tobaccos, don't miss it. If you like tobaccos, don't miss it. If you're not so sure, don't miss it. <laughs> if you hate them, ah, just come along and watch and try it. You might like it. Uh, but it, it's a very good one. So um, anyway, I'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow, folks. Um, have a good evening and uh, be safe.